Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we'll look at formatting negative numbers on a chart in a different way to positive numbers. Now we're going to do this with the actual bars on the chart. It's very simple to do once you know how and it's built into Excel so this is not anything funny about layering charts on top of each other or anything. Very simple to do. So the worksheet I'm working on has some budget items, the actual budget amount, how much we spend and the difference. And I just want to plot the budget item and the difference. So I'm just going to select over my data hold down the control key and select the second piece of data. I'm going to the insert tab. I'm going to select a 2D bar chart. Now this chart's got one really obvious problem and that is that we can't see the budget items because the chart is over the top of them. So I'm going to select over these items, the vertical category axis, right click and choose format axis. Down here in the options area, I'm going to labels and I'm going to select the label position as being low. Now you can use low or high. High just moves them to the right hand side, low moves them to the left hand side. So that gets them out of the way so we can actually see our data. Next up I want to format my data and I want to select everything. So just make sure that you have all the data points selected, not just the negative ones. We're going to do all the data here. So let me just click away and let me go and reselect this. You'll right click and choose Format Data Series obviously to get this panel available to you. Now I'm just going to decrease the gap width so I get nice big bars to start off with so we can see everything. But we are going to this fill option because this is where all the action is. And in the fill area here is an option called invert if negative. So we're going to select that. And what that does is it inverts the color. In this case, it just makes them clear the negative values. But at the same time, if we select something like solid fill, you'll see we now get two colors. So this is the color for the positive and this is going to be the color for the negative right now. It's set to white. Let's go and set it to a red. I'm going to select my red and you can see that the negative numbers are now red. The positive numbers are blue. Obviously I could change that color if I wanted to to something different. I could make it orange or brown. Now if we go back to our actual data here and if I was to change this data then we're going to get different values. So here I have marketing selected. You can see that we're under budget. We only spent 1800. Well, what if I made a mistake and that was really 2800. So let me just change 2800 and you can see that the chart has now plotted this as a positive and overspend here, but also the color of the plot has changed. And if maintenance was an actual fact here under budget, not over, let's go to maintenance. You can see here it's over budget. Well, if that was really 20 700. I'm just going to type that in, press enter and you can see that maintenance is now showing as being under budget, not over budget. So anytime you have negative and positive values on a chart, it's really, really simple to format them in different ways. Just go to the fill options, make sure you select invert if negative, choose solid fill and then your two colors, one for the positive numbers and one for the negative. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.